There are several different ways of turning color images into black and white in GIMP and some color images cry out to be turned into black and white and I think this is one of them. Under the colors menu, desaturate brings up the three stalwart and worthy options for creating black and white images. These sometimes are just uninspiring. I'm going to demonstrate two techniques that will blow your socks off. We go to colors, we go to components and decompose. Now we get this menu and what you can do is to choose from a number of different color modes. I'm going to choose RGB and I'm going to make sure that decompose to layers is selected. We're going to hit OK. What this is, is actually the red channel from the image that we were just looking at. If I bring up the layers, we can see that we've actually got all three layers there. Now, if I switch off the red, we can see the green channel with all its splendid detail, and then the blue channel, which looks horrific, we'll delete that. The um, green channel looks really, really good. I'm going to use that as the base, but I'm also going to sw switch on the red channel with all its drama, and I'm going to tone it down a fair amount by choosing lighten only mode and turning down the opacity to around 30%. Now that creates a really really nice looking black and white image and I think that looks a lot better than anything that we got out of the desaturate menu. Going back to the original image I'm going to redo the effect but this time I'm going to choose lab and once again choose decompose to layers. Now lab mode is a one hit wonder. It only produces one usable black and white layer. I'm going to bring up the layers and I'm going to get rid of the two layers that contain the color information. Those are completely useless. Now, lab mode, although it's a one-hit wonder, that one layer contains all the brightness and contrast information in the image. For that reason, it's the big daddy black and white mode. Sometimes it fails, as you can see here, but not to fret. What I'm going to do is to duplicate the layer and I'm going to put the top one on multiply mode. And as you can see, the effect is absolutely spectacular. This is one very good black and white image. What we've got to do, of course, is to do a comparison. What I'm going to do is to copy over the RGB mode, which from now on I'm going to call RG because we've got rid of the B. We're looking at that right now. And if I switch it off, we'll see the lab mode. Both images are really, really good. My preference is for the lab mode one, but the RG one has got rich depth and detail from the green channel and those amazing highlights from the red. Now let's add a tint to this image. First we need to turn this from black and white image to color, so we go to image, mode and RGB. To actually add a tint we go to colors, colorize, and here I'm going to choose a warm hue, something in the low 20s, and I'm going to limit the saturation so that we get a tint rather than a full colorize effect. And uh, the final image I think looks pretty decent. Now it's up to you whether you go for a tint or for black and white, but I think using this technique you can get the very best out of an image and produce perfect looking black and white images or add that subtle tint to your image. Now if you found that useful, please leave a comment or rate the video. In the next GIMP video, how to treat color cast in a photograph. Now if you want to see that hit the subscribe button on YouTube to be informed when the video comes out and thank you for watching.